Oh, come on, that was a gimme. There we go. Oh, sewered it. Let's just talk about wallets. Let's take a look at what this looks like. Slide this open. Boop. That's what's in the box. Okay, I'll do a little rotation of this so you can see it in its entirety. Now this is a very thin wallet. It holds anywhere between like three and four cards. This isn't a billfold wallet. We're not putting cash in here. We're not putting your wallet photos, your kids' school portraits in here, receipts from three days ago, your McDonald's free coffee card. No, not gonna happen. Now I'm someone that carries four cards in my wallet anyway. I've got my business visa, I've got my personal visa, I've got an ID, and that's sometimes all I carry. I've got a separate individual wallet in my truck where I keep my rewards cards, the coffee cards, the car wash card, where I keep the petrol points card if I'm gonna go fill up the truck. Those types of things don't need to live in the back of this. So when you see complaints of people saying, doesn't hold enough cards, it's not supposed to. And you probably have too many cards as it is anyway. And let's be honest, we're probably thinking about this is an addition, this is a supplemental bonus to Apple Pay. So it's important to know why this was made. That's my thoughts. Now let's talk about the construction. Being from someone that used to run and operate and make a handmade leather goods shop, I would make wallets and handbags and all things leather goods. So I've got lots of experience dealing with hides, different types of leather, how different leather finishes, different methods of finishing leather, be it that it's edge work or stitching or how you wrap and bind the edges, all of those things, how you're gonna stamp out the back to have that thumb slot, how it's gonna work in relation to the top part, to the middle part, to the stamp, is it centered, centered, all of those things. Of those I've things. been doing this for years. Not only is it something I did as a business, it's a passion, it's a hobby, so I have a, a very tuned sense of detail when it comes to wallets and leather goods across the board. So when you're talking about the fit and finish of this, I don't know specifically what type of leather is being used here. On the back, all it says is natural leather. What does that mean? Is it a top grain leather? Is it a full grain leather? Is it bovine? Is it equestrian? Is it vegan? I don't know any of those things. I just know that it's soft and it feels good and it feels premium. And you can tell that it was really well made when you look at the edge work, when you look at the stitch lines. The stitch lines are crisp. They're tight. You don't have any hammer marks from the presser foot of an industrial sewing machine. It's backstitched very well. It's backstitched twice. So when the stitching line comes up to the top, they've gone back down twice and back up to lock that thread in so that you have some durability on what would be called the stress points of the wallet, which is here and here. The edges are not binded. A binded edge is when usually that leather is rolled over or into the seam itself. A lot of companies like Bellroy, they finish their products that way. This is a painted edge, and a painted edge is very hard to do well. You're gonna see that in a lot more high-end goods like Hermes and brands like that who will paint their edges flawlessly and this looks to be done very, very well, especially the mass production that is happening with a good like this. And they're nice and smooth there, but over time, if those get nicks and bends, uh, that edge paint can start to wear down, and that might be, in my opinion, one of the spots that starts to get worn the most. But time will tell. I've literally had this in my hands for an hour. Let's talk about how good it magnetizes to the back of a phone, because that is what it was made to do. So keep in mind that as thin as this is, there are still materials inside that are letting this attach firmly to the back of the new iPhones. It's very easy to connect. It doesn't come off super, super easily but it doesn't come off in a difficult manner. It's not hard to peel this. It's not one of those things where if it is your daily wallet and you're trying to use it, you're not gonna be fighting it uh, to get it off or anything like that. And it's not just gonna be falling off if you're shaking your phone or you're using your phone or anything like this. That's pretty good. That's pretty good for being stuck on there. When you magnetize it to the back, the phone literally tells you you've connected a wallet. So it's an audible sound if you have the speakers on to let you know that your wallet is stuck to the back. Now on something like a 12 Pro Max, it's obviously not gonna fit seamlessly border to border. It's gonna hover somewhere around the middle. And again, you've got that notification letting you know that there is something stuck to the back. And it's actually nice to hold. It kind of fills in this like dead spot of your hand and it just makes it a little more full when you're holding the phone. So that's actually something that I've liked and enjoyed. But I do like the fact that there is a border around the outside of the wallet so it makes it easy for taking it off 
and placing it on. Moving on to the next thing being discussed about this wallet is it falling off when it goes in your pocket. I don't know how you're putting your phone in your pocket. First of all, I'm not a front pocket iPhone guy. I've been back right pocket iPhone since the beginning of the iPhone. I have never put it in a front pocket. The less I can have in a front pocket, the better. Right now I have a really slim Bellroy wallet that's in my front left pocket. So you can see I am no stranger to the minimalist wallet. It's about the same. So the fact that I can take that out of my front pocket, put it on the phone now, and that goes in my back pocket, that just makes everything even easier. So I'm eliminating things from my pockets at this point. So that makes me happy. Now when I'm putting something in my back pocket, this just doesn't get in the way. I've seen a lot of people talking about the phone hits the edge of your pocket and falls off. Who puts their phone in like that? You hold the phone, you put your first finger into the pocket, second, let it drop in, you're done. There's literally nothing else to it. You're done, it goes in the pocket. I could do this a hundred times. It's never gonna fall out. It's secure, it's fine. Even if this is going in my front pocket, which, and I wear, I wear super tight jeans. So these are skinny jeans. If I was putting this giant phone with a wallet in my front pocket, which I would typically never do, I would still be holding the phone and then I would push it in like that. And when I pull it out, knowing that there's a wallet on the back, I would hold that wallet and pull it out. It is a, a non-issue. If you can't get this phone in your pocket without the wallet falling out, practice? As a guy that loves wallets, I've spent tons of money on wallets. I've made hundreds of wallets. I have friends that have made tens of thousands of wallets. I am friends with leather craftsmen all over the world. So naturally, if Apple comes out with a wallet, it's going to be something that I am super pumped to try out. There's a little card in the back when you get the wallet, and it's basically there to tell you to use your thumb to slide that card up. And then you pull it out, and you are ready to put your own cards in. So, are they gonna be hard to get out when you first put them in a wallet? A yes, 100%, just like a new pair of shoes is a little stiff until three weeks in, you start to slide your feet in and out, no problem. It's the same thing with this. Give it time, it works in. All of this to say, this wallet is great. It doesn't miss the mark. It is not a bit of a mess. It's not a letdown. It does exactly what it's intended to do. And man, I feel like Apple should just use this as their commercial, because I mean, you're I'm hyped on this. I'm more excited about the wallet than I am about the phone. <laughs> Look at that. Should you buy this wallet? I'll tell you. You should only buy this wallet if you're someone that is looking to get rid of everything in their pockets. If you don't like carrying things with you, if you don't like having a wallet, if you just want to have less, you'll like this. Now, if you're someone that carries tons of cards and likes to have all that stuff with you because you don't wanna to run to the truck, you don't wanna forget something, you don't wanna be inconvenienced, maybe you don't use Apple Wallet and have all your cards digitally stored, you're not gonna like this. This is gonna frustrate you. But if you are someone looking to pare down, carry less, and just have the essentials and make life a little bit easier, a little bit cleaner, then you'll love the wallet. That's the definitive word on the Apple wallet. Look nowhere else. After this video, you should be able to make a very clear decision if this is something you're going to like. Does it work? Yeah, it works. See ya.